Israeli News Live. There is definitely an unraveling of the political atmosphere in Israel. It's all types of problems. In an article today on Israel National News, it says, Levni, Labor Pact gives Israel clear choice between the right and the left. Also, we know that Labor MK uh, uh, Harzog, another young lady who is kind of splitting between the middle of the right and the left, <clears throat> is supporting uh, Miss Levni. And then, of course, there's other parties as well pulling away from the right going to what they call a middle ground. Nonetheless, everybody on the left is wanting to create a Palestinian state, and it's just making the political situation very volatile. Uh, Ms. Livni has, uh, has said that she defected, in the, they say in the article she defected from the Likud party. Uh, in a comment that I made on that particular article, I said she was an infiltrator, only to weaken the party. <clears throat> but then again, what can we expect? If you think about it, Look at the, the prophecy that is written by Micah the prophet in chapter 4, verse 9, where he challenges Israel and says, Now why dost thou cry out aloud? Is there no king in thee? Is thy counselor perish that pains have taken hold of thee as a woman in travail? Well, it's a direct uh, question that is being asked by the prophet of Micah to Israel for when they wanted a king to lead them into battle. Certainly Israel is certainly in battle with an entire world all around them trying to overtake this little bitty land and to rip Israel out of Jerusalem. It's exactly what's going on. Of course, Israel wanted to be like the rest of the world. God gave them a King David, one of the most valiant kings of all times. Of course, we had Josiah, we had Hezekiah, <clears throat> we had Jehoshaphat, we had Asa, some very good godly kings that would not permit all the altars of Baal that are now being permitted all around Jerusalem and around the entire country. So no wonder why Israel cannot prevail. Every commandment of God is being broken. And then again, we look at the continuation of the prophecy in verse 10, Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. The prophet goes on to say, For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and shalt dwell in the field, and shalt come even unto Babylon. There shalt thou be res rescued or delivered. <clears throat> there shall the Lord redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. That's exactly what Prime Minister Netanyahu, along with uh, the push of President, Sh former President Shimon Peres, have done. They've taken Israel and handed Israel to the Vatican. This is where Miss Livni will get all the so-called money that she will be able to get to, to strengthen the economy of Israel. Once Israel has bowed to the demands of Babylon, or Rome in this case, Esau's descendants, then, of course, she'll get the money they want. Israel will be divided. But the prophecy clearly says by Micah, you'll go out of the city and dwell in the fields. So there's coming a very horrible time in Israel's history in the very near future. Uh, so, and, and of course, it seems very much like with the political situation going on in Israel right now with all the different opinions and ideas that Prime Minister Netanyahu's possibility of re-election is nearly impossible. And as well, they blame him and say that he does absolutely nothing. In fact, Ms. Levini said he was afraid. I can't really say as I blame him. I think he is looking at the Word of God. In fact, he does quote the prophet Amos at the United Nations. So I think he is looking at his Bible and knows that this is a very serious situation to divide the land of Israel. But nonetheless, you have those on the left that do not care what God's word really has to say. <clears throat> In other news as well, uh, the, the, uh, the death of Abu Ain, who was a 55-year-old Palestinian uh, authority man there that got into a confrontation with Israeli police with about 300 Palestinian rioters there, died of a heart attack, is being buried today in Ramallah. Of course, that happens to be where he's being buried is very close to a, a Jewish community there, and the Israeli forces are there in high numbers because the Palestinians are calling out blood, his blood will not be spilled in vain. The, uh, the, according to the doctors there, Abu Ain, uh, Zayed Abu Ain actually had a very serious heart condition over his lifetime there. He had 80% blocked arteries after when the autopsy was conducted. And of course, ironically, Israel National News reports that 
the Palestinians refused a uh, Israeli army medic to help him when he was having the heart attack. Instead, they just bundled him up into a car and would not allow any medical treatment to, to save his life. Nonetheless, he died, and of course, the Palestinians are blaming the Israeli, Israelis for his death. More bloodshed, no doubt. And interestingly enough, the Palestinians do not want you to live if that's the case, because it only looks good for the news. I'm Stephen Vindenu with Israeli News Live. Thank you.